Disclaimer, the following video is an accurate description of a disturbing crime in explicit detail. Please, if you are sensitive to disturbing content and or get easily triggered, please do not watch this. Thank you. I want to start this video by saying that I'm going to be reading from two different news excerpts. One is from the, th the 19th of March 2021 and that will be when the news of this crime first broke. And the second one, uh, I'm not sure what date it will be from, but I will read it out later on uh, when I actually read the excerpt out so you will hear that. But I just wanted to let that be known uh, so there was no confusion when I'm reading the two of these. Nasia Patrice, boy, 17 years old, found guilty of killing teenager. A 17-year-old boy has been found guilty of the manslaughter of a teenager who was stabbed in the chest. Nasia Patrice, 17, of Birmingham, died in Tatchbrook Road, Leamington Spa, Warwickshire, on the 15th of January 2020. The defendant from London, who cannot be named for legal reasons, was not found guilty of murder. Jurors at Warwick Crown Court also acquitted the defendant of attempting to murder a second victim who was also stabbed. The, n the boy, who was 16 at the time, claimed to have acted in self-defence when he killed Mr Patrice, the trial heard, alleging he was attacked by a group of three assailants. He said the group's entry into the property sounded like a stampede and he had made a split-second life-or-death decision when faced with someone armed with a Rambo knife. The defendant looked around and smirked after the killing prosecutors alleged. Mr Patrice suffered four stab wounds and was declared dead shortly after paramedics arrived at the scene. The verdict was reached on Friday by a 10 to 2 majority after more than 10 hours of deliberations. The youth was also convicted of perverting the course of justice and wounding the second victim with intent. Warwickshire police said the stabbing had likely been due to a dispute linked to county lines drug dealing. The teenager was remanded in custody and will be sentenced on Tuesday. Three men who pleaded guilty to pervert in the course of justice ahead of the trial will also be sentenced. I will now be reading the second excerpt that I have from uh, BBC News. So credit to uh, BBC News for covering this. Uh, this came out on the 23rd of March 2021. So this was, I believe, on the day of the conviction. Uh, a 17-year-old boy who used a sword to kill a rival gang member has been jailed for 10 years. Nasia Patrice, 17, of Birmingham, died in Tatchbrook Road, Leamington Spa, Warwickshire, on the 15th of January 2020. The defendant from London, who could not be known for legal reasons, was cleared of murder, but convicted of manslaughter. Jurors at Warwick Crown Court also found him guilty of perverting the course of justice and wounding. The trial heard the defendant claimed to have acted in self-defence during the stabbings when intruders linked to a Birmingham-based gang entered a flat. Mr Patrice suffered four stab wounds and was declared dead shortly after paramedics arrived at the scene. Passing sentence, Mr Justice Turner accepted the 17-year-old, who was 16 at the time, had not struck the first blow. He told the defendant at least one of them had a knife, but what followed went far beyond the ba bounds of reasonable self-defence. He added, the boy had set about the victims with relentless and grossly disproportionate violence. The court heard the 17-year-old had previous convictions for threatening someone with and possession of an offensive weapon. He was told he must serve half of his 10-year term of youth detention before he is likely to be freed. Three other members of the London-based County Line Syndicate pleaded guilty before the trial to doing acts intended to pervert the course of justice. Richard Tallawilla, 19, from Harrow, William Hutch, 18, from Greenwich, and Abraham Comby, 19, from Erith, were given two-year sentences and are likely to be released immediately due to time served on remand. Detective Chief Inspector Carolyn Caulfield said the case was a very stark reminder of the devastating effects of knife crime. She added, So many lives have been devastated by this case, but my thoughts remain with the family of Nasir. I just briefly wanted to touch on Nasir Patrice's family as well. I believe I believe his dad has came out and started his own charity organisation that will help black families to get outdoors more and, you know, participate in more outdoor activities with each other and just to help to bring the general community together. So I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. 
I'll also leave a link to Nasir Patrice's funeral fundraising costs in the description as well. And there will also be one more link that will be for a knife prevention crime charity. So if you want to donate to any of those, that would be much appreciated. Please share this video around, see if we can bring more awareness to this topic as well. Uh, it's always great to see the community coming together, sharing this news to other people so that, you know, it gets out there more. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.